Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're having a look at a brand new technology that's powering these e-ink picture frames. We're going to talk about the history of e-ink. We're going to have a look at what you can use it for today and what you'll be able to use it for in the future. So a big thank you to SwitchBot who did send me this picture frame free of charge, but they're not sponsoring this video and they have absolutely no control over what I'm about to tell you. So the term e-ink or e-paper seems to be interchangeable when describing this technology. Believe it or not, people started experimenting with this back in the 1970s, but it was only 2007 when we saw these screens starting to become commercially available with the introduction of the Kindle. The way that these screens work is they're made up of micro capsules. The micro capsules contain black and white particles which have opposite charges. As power is supplied via electrodes, either the white or the black particles move towards the surface of the microcapsule. And as the microcapsules make up the screen, it can create pictures formed for each of these tiny little dots. Now, in order to create a color display, they created filters over these little dots. And as you can imagine, as the filters become either bright or dark, this creates your tiny little pixels that make up your color picture. So another great thing about e-ink displays that they only use electricity when changing the image. And this means that e-ink displays can be powered for a battery for a year or even more. So the SwitchBot AI art frame comes in three sizes. 7.3 inch at 149, a 13.3 inch, which is the one I'm trying today at 349, and a 31.5 inch at 1299. These displays rely on e-ink Spectra 6, which is the latest e-paper experience and gives you much more bright and realistic colors. So having a look at the frame itself, it's got a nice black aluminum frame around the edge, which gives you a real feeling of quality. Then you have this paper surround over here. Now they do supply you with three additional paper surrounds in case you want to replace them. They are all the same color. On the rear side of the frame, we have a little hinge for standing it up on a bookshelf or something. And then we have some additional ways of mounting it either vertically or horizontally. We also have a USB-C plug for charging the device and a pairing button to wake the device up or put it into pairing mode. Along with the frame, we do get a USB-C charger along with a cable and then some of these mounting hooks. So these are designed to be stuck onto a flat surface or you have these ones that can be nailed onto your plasterboard. Setup was super simple. Open up your SwitchBot app, then select the plus icon at the top of the app and go add device. You'll see that it's already picked up the AI art frame. So just select that, agree to start using the frame and then press the button on the back of the frame for two seconds to put it into pairing code and then connect device. Now it will start connecting to the device. Next, you need to insert your Wi-Fi password. Now you can see it's joined so you can rename it and you can select a room. Next, it asked me to do a firmware upgrade. In order to display photographs on your frame, just press the album button and then go on the plus button. From here, you can select the photographs on your phone. So I might select this one over here and press the yes or the tick button. From here, we can go and we can rotate if we want to. We could also crop the image. We can also adjust things like filters and brightness, saturation and contrast. Once we've done that, we can confirm press the next button. Now it will process the photograph ready to be uploaded to your frame. Now that it's saved, we press the sync button and it will start sharing it with the frame. Once it's uploaded, the frame will start flashing like this. It'll take probably 30 seconds to a minute and then your new photograph will be loaded. So overall, the look and feels of the photographs is obviously not as bright as what you would expect from an LCD display, but it is really nice. I feel it gives me the look and feel of a photograph inside of a frame, and I'm personally very impressed. 
Now you do also have the paid version called the AI Art Studio, which costs you $6.99 per month. So if we press on this over here, there's two ways that you can do it. You can either create artworks by prompt or you can remix an existing image. So we can go along here to the art prompt and we can type anything here. So we can either select from a list of options that they've got over here. We could try one of these and press the generate button. This will now go to some sort of AI tool which will generate the image for us. So there we go, it's created a fox for us. Alternatively, I can create my own prompt. So I might say phone box in the desert and we return and we push that. So there we go. And if we wanna upload that once again, we can then filter it or we can go ahead and we can upload that to our frame. Alternatively, we can take an existing image and create it in any sort of a style. So I might select that little dog image. So now we can upload this to the frame. Now, once you have a range of images loaded up in your album, a maximum of 10 can be loaded at one time. You can then select to have this sync the photos automatically. There are two modes. You can either go with the gallery mode where it will change at a scheduled time each day, or you can select the slideshow mode where it will change every interval. So for example, every hour, a new slide will show up. Now I did ask SwitchBot whether it was possible to integrate this with Home Assistant. Apparently they're starting to work on this and are expecting to have this being released in 2026. So I really look forward to seeing what sort of options you have in order of controlling this device via Home Assistant, because I can imagine it could be really cool to have your photos, but then if there's certain information, like you might wanna have, for example, when you wake up in the morning, the current weather to display so that you know what to expect for the day. So anyway, I've really enjoyed reviewing this product. For me, this is something I really like. Obviously, it's a reasonable amount of money at the moment. Hopefully, over time, this technology will become cheaper, but I think it's a really great option if you're looking for some sort of a e-ink display that you can put up on your wall, and it will honestly blend in with the other photographs and pictures that you might have the wall and create a really lovely display. Anyway, that's all for me now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.